Now, a petition for special bricks to be put into new homes to allow swifts to nest has reached 100,000 signatures. Hannah Bourne-Taylor, a campaigner from Oxford, wants to stop the decline of the birds, which nest in rooftops and buildings. Mike Pearce has the story. Oh, 100,000 signatures for swifts. The moment Hannah Bourne Taylor found out her parliamentary petition to reduce the sharp decline in the number of swifts and other birds reached the 100,000 target. She was campaigning in Oxford when the news came through. I feel like I'm shaking with hope instead of desperation, which is a really nice change. You know, to, to really embrace this issue to such an extent, I've really put my whole self, my physical self and my mental self on the line and it feels like a huge relief. Hannah wants the government to ensure all new homes are built with swift bricks which have spaces for birds to nest. They traditionally find space, but new building methods and better insulation in existing properties mean there are fewer spaces for them. Four species of birds who share our walls are facing national extinction, and there are many factors in their decline, but one of them is that their holes, their homes, are being blocked off inadvertently by us, and that's through our own house improvements over the years, but also this really big insulation push. So the government's eco-scheme has seen the walls and roofs of over 4.6 million houses being insulated. Hannah hit the headlines when she protested in London, wearing just painted birds all over her body. The 100,000 signatures mean her petition will now be considered to be raised in Parliament, but it's not guaranteed. I need to now collaborate with the Petition Committee of Parliament and hope and secure that petition um, debate, and that's, that's a very tall order. The government say they support swift bricks, but decisions on their use should be taken by local councils, as they may not be appropriate in all developments. So for now, the campaign continues. Mike Pearce, ITV News, Oxford.